We decide when and where we will go. Right here, this team, right now, every step. Splashes it through. Oh, what a big shot. Wear them down with our effort. Wear them down with the consistency of it. Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank and by UVA Health System and by GEICO and by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly. That's the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, this is a very important game for us. It's uh, one of the last two home games. at all. He's going way down the middle of the field. Single cover. Tim Smith reaches back and makes the catch for the touchdown. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Anthony Gill from the basketball team. We've got some great stories for you from Virginia Athletics. First, we'll recap the football team's big win over NC State and Raleigh. Believe it. Good. Believe in it. Believe the preparation, fellas. Look in the mirror. That's all we talked about last night. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself. Look at your hero. Uh huh. That's you. That's you. You gotta have confidence in yourself. <laughs> Believe in yourself, yep. fellas. All right. Go out there. Let's have fun. Yeah. Let's yeah. have fun. Uh -huh. Let's have fun. Yeah. yeah. Man in motion. E.J. Scott. They'll fake the handoff to him on a net around. Sims wants to throw down field. Got a man wide open. He hits Swanson down the near sideline. He's dragging a defender inside the five to the four. It's going to be a tight end lining up McGee on the near side left of the slot. It's a quick drop back. Sims looking to scramble. He's got pressure. He's got to get rid of it. Nowhere to go with it. He's going to try and scramble. He reaches to the pylon. Does he get it? Yes, sir. What? Touchdown, Virginia, on a big time gutsy play from Phillip Sims. I think we just came out and got into an early rhythm, and we get into a good rhythm early in the game that it only helps you later in the game, second, third, and fourth quarter. Uh, guys just came out, played hard, and that's the that's all you can ask from guys at, at a time like this. Come out and play hard. Give your all for your teammates, and everybody did it, and it helped us out in the end. Lined up against the tall paint. They're going to hand the ball off. This is up the middle. This is Tony Creasy. He takes a big hit from Leroy Reynolds, an empty backfield. There's the snap. He takes the snap. Throws over the middle. He overshoots his man, and it's intercepted. It's Anthony Harris across midfield, cut to the near side left. Picks up a block at the 40. He's to the 35, to the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 26. He'll take the snap. Going to take it himself. A quarterback draw straight up the gut. He's got the first down. We came to this game with the mentality of all we want to do is just win our first game, first game in November. Of course, calling the plays offensively, defensively, you know, whatever we needed to do. Wide open, Jones in the flat. He gets a block ahead across the 20 down inside the 19. He's knocked out of bounds. There's the snap. Rocco, time to throw. Throws over the middle. Got a man wide open in the end zone. This is Jennings who makes the catch. Touchdown, Virginia. 18 yards away, and Virginia strikes again. We just wanted to find a way to, to come up with a formula to win. And Coach Laser and the offensive staff, I thought they did a, a really nice job today in, in putting the pieces together to help Michael and Phillip be successful. Virginia sets four on the rush again. Here's a quick pass. That ball is going to be caught at the 45. A nice tackle again by Kennedy. Blended with a straight drop back. Another hurry up. Here comes the pressure from behind. He's hit as he unloads, and it's intercepted off the deflection. Eli Harrell in the right spot. The second pick of the day. Yeah, we've been talking for a long time about playing a complete game, all phases of the game, and, and we saw it today. You know, defense came together as a unit, and uh, we played really well coming off the bye week. And offense did their thing too, and special teams same thing. And we got some mistakes we need to clean up, but uh, we're going in the right direction for sure. We're going to keep that momentum going. Out of the shotgun, Glennon. He'll take the snap. Virginia gets sends four. Here comes the pressure. He's sacked in the backfield. He throws the ball away. They're going to call that. 
an incompletion, but that is a safety. That'll go as a sack as Will Hill makes the play. We feel like the defense has been playing well the past couple weeks and, and getting better each week, so we want to come out and show what we could do. And I think defense played as a unit, and everyone's making plays and, and coming up big. And we had to come out and play with the same type of energy and focus the second half because, you know, that's what happens sometimes. You lose that energy and focus, particularly on the road, and you don't regain it. And I just thought that, uh, again, the players and coaches did a great job of, of remaining focused and coming out with a renewed sense of energy. One out of the eye formation. He'll hand the ball off. This is Jones around the left edge. Nice stutter step. Cuts it back to the near side right. Gets a block. Look out. He's across the 45. Hurdles the defender at the 50 and steps out of bounds of the 49 of NC State. Long snap count here. Phillip takes the snap, fakes the handoff, steps into throw, wants it all. He's going way down the middle of the field. Single coverage. Tim Smith reaches back and makes the catch for the touchdown. What a play from 38 yards away. And Virginia strikes with 11-10 to play here in the third. We practice that in practice all the time. You know, never let a defender dictate your route or whatever goes on in your route. So I just never gave up on the play. Glennon's under center with two receivers right, one to the left. He's going to hand the ball off, coming to the near side. This is Creasy with a block. He tries to cut it to the outside, but what a job at the 30-yard line by Anthony Harris. Here's Rocco under center, fakes the toss one way. Now throws the other. Swanson makes the catch out of the backfield. He's got the first down and more on a 14-yard pickup. The Parks behind him at a receiver right. The handoff goes to Parks. Straight ahead, a gaping hole. Races across the 50, down to the 40. Loses the shoe, and he's wrestled down to the 35. Here's fourth down. Blitz is coming. Down he goes. He's sacked at the 38. Coming around the corner to make the play. Jake Snyder as he combines with Michael Moore. It's the fifth sack of the day. A stark contrast to the last couple of games. Here's a fake handoff. Glenn is going to air it out into double coverage. The only one who's going to have a chance is a DB. It's caught and intercepted. This is Kennedy at the 40. He made the over-the-shoulder catch. He's in to NC State side of the field across the 50. Slides down at the 33. He's under center as he takes the, hand, the snap and hands it off to Parks. He breaks it up the middle. Look out. Kevin Parks inside the five. He's dragged down into the end zone. Touchdown, Virginia. What a play on fourth down, 36 yards out. can't express how happy I am for uh, for a lot of those players, that was elated locker room in there. And as I said, we'll celebrate it for a little bit, but know that we got much more, much more business ahead of us to, to take care of some things that, that this season is to turn out the way it possibly could. Two, This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Welcome back to the show. The football team returns home Saturday to face off against the Miami Hurricanes. Mike London breaks down Jeb Fish's explosive pro-style offense. This is Coach London with a scouting report for the Miami Hurricanes. Miami's head coach, Al Golden, is uh, second year head coach at Miami. Remember the name, Al Golden was uh, the defensive coordinator here at Virginia for a few years. Uh, I was on the staff here when Coach Golden was here. Jed Fish is their offensive coordinator, nine years in the NFL, brings an explosive style of offensive uh, packages to Miami. Miami's young as we are, there are some players that stand out for them, particularly uh, number eight, Duke Johnson, the true freshman, was a, one of the top players in the country coming out last year. He's playing as a true freshman, has had multiple games where he's gained over 100 yards and had explosive runs and catches. They're a very fast, athletic team. Offensively, as we said, with the, the style of approach they have is they'll run the ball with two tight ends, they'll, they'll spread you out, try to throw the ball, and and they utilize their wide receivers and their running back skill and speed. We'll take a couple looks here at some of the things that they do on offense, some of the things that we'll, uh, we'll have to look out for and pay attention to. 
and I'll point out some of the players that, that have made great plays for them. The first play here is an 11 personnel. We'll talk about 11 personnel, one tight end in the game and three wide receivers. You see right now that uh, the speed of, uh, of what they do on just a takeoff route here by Dorsett, just isolating the corner and uh, just taking running the takeoff route. And there's Morris, the quarterback. He, if you remember two years ago when uh, Ja'Cory Harris got knocked out of the game, uh, he was the one that came in the game and, uh, and finished up the game for them. So, but this is kind of what they do, just kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, throw the ball, put the ball up in the air, and let their speed go after it. Okay, you see this set right here is a two tight end set where you know they, they've shown where they run the ball, but also they'll use the extra tight ends to match protect and even though there's two receivers in the route, a third receiver coming out of the backfield, they'll just try to isolate again. Dorsett, number four, who is the fastest player on Miami's team, just try to isolate him and uh, uh, make sure the quarterback didn't have any pressure and throw the ball deep. Miami offensive line will probably be the biggest offensive line we played against. Their tackles are 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and 6'8". Their guards are 6'5", and 6'6". Six, six. So they'll be the biggest team that we played to date. Here we see out of the shotgun, again, 11 personnel. You see the tight end kind of uh, will clear out the linebackers here. The tight end's on the line of scrimmage here. Clears out the linebackers and just throw kind of a swing pass to the running back. That's the freshman, Duke Johnson. Uh, again, true freshman that's been a dynamic player for him that uh, when he gets the ball in his hands, he makes a lot of things happen. So this is kind of a hide screen where they show pass, he comes across, Offensive line lets the rush occur, and then they run downfield and then uh, allow him, Johnson, to use his, uh, his skills. This next one is, uh, we call it 10 personnel, where there's four wide receivers and there's one tailback, no tight end in the game. So you see kind of, a, kind of a, a speed crew that's out there. And now what they do is, understanding that most defenses will respect the speed that's out on the field, run clear out routes, and then kind of run underneath pass by James, the other talented tailback. You see he's a hard guy to bring down. He's a big back, big physical back. So they clear you out and then bring him underneath and try to isolate you on with your Mike linebacker or linebacker in front. This next one right here is again 11 personnel and shotgun. You see what happens here with the movement, kind of a read play. This is Duke Johnson again. The, the freshman, kind of, this is against Virginia Tech and Simon oriented defense, particularly when teams are running this kind of read play. You just kind of see the athleticism and the, and, the, and the speed and explosion of Duke Johnson. A lot of times you have a guy responsible for closing on the dive, or you have a guy that has the quarterback because there's always the option for the quarterback pulling the ball. If he was to close on the dive, then that'd be the read for the quarterback to pull it. In this situation, there's, uh, there's not a, a dive player. It appears the defensive end is the quarterback player, and then you see the explosion of Duke Johnson being able to run. That's the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, this is a very important game for us. It's, we control our own destiny here. We, uh, we're looking for great play, great energetic play again by, by our guys coming off the NC State win, and um, look forward to seeing everybody out of Scott State. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. Welcome back to Cavalier Sports Weekly. The women's soccer team traveled to Cary, North Carolina last weekend for the ACC tournament. Here are some amazing highlights from their championship run.
I think in this in this kind of a game, I think the first goal is really really important. And I think we had, at that point once we had, we got the the goal, we could we have a big enough field here to. Uh, you know, we could hopefully dictate tempo a little bit, and uh, we, we didn't have to. We don't have to chase the game. Uh, we can keep our shape. It allows us to stay in a little bit. We can serve. We we're fortunate. We, we uh, Danielle made a great save when it was one nothing. And you know, those are the kind of moments, you know, you don't get one and all of a sudden you have, you have to come up big and she did a great job. We've been playing great soccer. We know we've been playing great soccer. We felt really confident against UNC, against Florida State. And coming in today, we knew if we just played our game, this game would be ours. I'll tell you what I really love about this team. They play some great soccer. They play together. And uh, I think that's, that's the epitome of, of what team sports is all about. And I think hopefully when you watch our team, uh, people see that. You know, we're a team. So happy for this team. We've improved steadily as the years gone by. We've become a better and better team. Not only am I happy about the result and the, the fact that we, these, these players call ourselves ACC champions, but just some great soccer this weekend from our team as well. I'm very happy about that. Coming up after the break. This portion of Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation. Welcome back to the show. Women's basketball opens the season on Friday at JPJ. Here's an update. And I can't believe another season, our second season is almost underway, but we're excited. We open up Friday against James Madison. They'll be a great challenge and a great test for us, and they did a great job last year, and they return, I think, four of their five starters, and so it, it will, we, we'll be really tested, you know? I'm glad it's here. Uh, I think the fan support for the first game will be great, and I think our girls are ready to play, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll really know kind of where we stand at the end of that game. And Every team deals with injuries, and you gotta you gotta find other people that are gonna step up and contribute. And sometimes that's an opportunity for your younger players. And we're just trying to work rotations now to see who kind of fits in there. Sarah Beth, Sarah, I, and then the freshmen. It's just all new to them. Like our system is just new. And what we do is new. So it's their growth is going to happen throughout the season. It's not going to be immediately felt on Friday or you know next week for that matter. And we have to be patient, and bring them along. Right now, Kelsey, you know, is, is kind of shifts over there uh, for us. Faith is really comfortable on the wing right now, and I don't know that she's really ready to play two positions. But Jaren, um, she came in yesterday and ran some point for us, and without missing a beat, got us into a couple of things we needed to, so she might be our, our third option. We brought in Ashley early, who was a phenomenal post player at Vanderbilt and I thought she's brought a lot to the table in terms of just teaching our post. We need them to be a presence for us. We need them and I, keep, I tell them every day, this, we need balance on this team. There has to be a good balance, a good inside out and they've embraced that and we're, so we're, we're challenging them to be a presence for us. I thought Simone in particular did a really good job in, in the scrimmages. I mean if Frankie can step up and give us 20 every night, great. If China can do it, great. But if that's not going to be the case, we need more balance on our team have to have our post involved on the, in that end of the floor. I mean, I always like that the bar's being raised. You know, as a coach, I like I, I like the fact that the coaches and media have, you know, respect and that they obviously enjoyed what we did last year and, and thought highly of it and feel that we're capable of doing that more this year. It's a great, I think, um, motivation for the kids to see that 
people are looking at you and expecting more of you and if they're expecting more of you we should be expecting more of ourselves and so I think it's a great platform to kind of be standing on right now. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. We have some great home games this week so come out and support your Cavaliers. Volleyball hosts Boston College Saturday at MIM Gym. Men's basketball plays an NIT season tip-off Monday and Tuesday at JPJ. And football hosts North Carolina on Thursday night. We'll be back next week with more highlights and great stories from Virginia Athletics. I'm Anthony Gill. Until next time, go Hoos! Cavalier Sports Weekly is brought to you by Stellar One Bank. In banking, there's good, better, and stellar. Visit Stellar One Bank today to see the difference. And by UVA Health System. We're for fans everywhere, and we're for the Cavaliers. And by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. And by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. You are the foundation.